Hey there everybody, Rob Burns here. Thank you for stopping by my second video, my 10 part video series on how to get your home sold. Uh, these are the top 10 tips on what I use, what other agents use, and what a for sale by owner could use if they're looking to sell their home. Um, part two is gonna consist of lock boxes and uh, yard signs, yard signs. They're uh, very vital to selling your home. They're pretty elementary, basic stuff, but let me explain to you how they work. Uh, first off, the lock box. An agent's always gonna wanna put a lock box on your property to allow access to the buyer's agents, so basically agents representing buyers to come in and show your home. Uh, versus a lot of sellers may want to have the listing agent there for every showing, and it's just not feasible because obviously conflicting uh, schedules with the buyer's agent, the buyer, the listing agent, and the seller as well. It's four parties to get involved every time somebody wants to see their home. Uh, we take a lot of effort in getting people's attention to get them to actually make an appointment so when we have that interest, we really want to be able to give them the most flexibility possible to get them in the house. And uh, they'll have the lockbox there and having our showing desk, um, our, our uh, receptionist making appointments all day, seven days a week, um, really helps in that process. That way the listing agent's out making videos like this, getting your home sold, um, putting flyers out in the neighborhood, doing the other things we're going to talk about. So anyway, so putting a lockbox on your home is extremely crucial for the buyers to get in at their convenience really. Um, also having your home show ready at all times so that if you're off to work and somebody drives through the neighborhood and they want to see the home this afternoon, well we're going to be able to get them in in short notice and the homes are going to be ready to go. Okay, So lockbox is very important. Um, nobody's going to steal your stuff. Make sure all your stuff is locked up. You don't need the cash, personals, firearms, uh, jewelry, so forth. Make sure all that stuff is locked up anyway. But anybody coming through is going to be with a licensed agent, so you're pretty safe there. Uh, number two is going to be yard signs. Um, yard signs, a lot of people are hesitant to put the sign out. Maybe they don't want the neighbors knowing they're, they're, uh, they're moving or they don't want to disappoint the neighbor that they say we're going to be here forever, don't worry about it. Uh, and, and now they have to sell. So, um, you know, there's those hesitations, but let me tell you, 20% of people still find their home with a yard sign, so that's a huge majority of people. That, uh, that are out driving in the neighborhood. And the person that's driving down the road um, and sees that yard sign is a very qualified buyer because A, they're either driving neighborhoods looking for properties that they're interested in, or B, they know somebody in your neighborhood and they, they've always thought about maybe moving closer to their relative or their friend, or they've always kind of liked your neighborhood and uh, have been waiting for that house to come on. So yard signs are very important. Like I said, about 20% of buyers are still finding their properties with a yard sign and um, they're, they're very well qualified people because they're motivated in your area because they're obviously there anyway. So those are the two tips for number two is lockbox for readily accessible viewings and uh, a yard sign to let people know that your home is for sale and uh, you know it's available. So good luck, join me with part three and I hope you catch all 10 parts of my video series. Until next time, Rob Burns.